What's going on everyone? It's Alex here from Alex Physio. Today we're going to be going over how to poop correctly. Welcome. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Alexander Kravich. I'm a physiotherapist in Vancouver, British Columbia, and today we're going to be going over how to poop correctly. I'm not a pelvic floor physiotherapist or an OBGYN, so please see your pelvic floor physio um, or seek the services of one if you are struggling with pelvic organ prolapse, constipation, hemorrhoids, or difficulty with emptying your bowel movements. So we're going to have a seat on the toilet, and here I have the portable squatty potty. You don't need to get a squatty potty. You can use yoga blocks um, or a stool or any other uh, devices that basically allow you to elevate your feet. But the benefits of the squatty potty is that it can fit directly underneath the toilet seat. And the premise behind this or why we recommend having a squatty potty or an elevated surface is so that our knees are higher than our hips. This is meant to mimic what the uh, more natural position is when we do have a bowel movement. If you think about getting into deep squats, how individuals do that in other countries, the purpose of that is as we bring our knees above our hips, then our pelvis tilts backwards, which basically helps to uh, make the what's called the pubal rectal angle larger, which if you think about a hose, if the hose is kinked when you're sitting in a toilet seat, when you have your feet elevated, it makes the hose unkinked, which obviously would allow your bowels to empty easier, quicker, and more of the bowels to empty with less strain. So if you have issues such as pelvic organ prolapse or difficulty with relaxing your pelvic floor or um, difficulty emptying your uh, bladder movements, it helps to, or constipation or hemorrhoids, it helps to basically relax those muscles to allow you to empty more out. And uh, there is research that compared individuals um, who would use the stool versus who didn't use the stool and the average time that people spent on the toilet seat was almost twice as little. So it went from about 113 seconds to 55 seconds. So obviously there is benefit from spending less time on the toilet seat. So basically you wanna have your feet elevated on a stool. And again, this is going to vary based off of how high your toilet seat is at home, how tall you are with regards to how high you want the sur surface to be. And you're gonna be in this position and you're going to lean forward. Again, that's going to increase that angle as well. Um, increase your hip bend angle. And as you're, you're trying to pass that stool movement, you wanna to try to think about blowing as you go. So you're exhaling, instead of tensing up and, and really trying to strain as much as possible, you're trying to exhale as, the, as you're trying to pass that stool. You also have to make sure that you are comfortable when you are in this position, because obviously your level of comfort is going to determine how your pelvic floor region is able to relax, which will ultimately determine how much of the bowels you're going to empty and how much strain there is going to be when you have said bowel movement. If you found value in this video, please consider checking out some of my other videos. I have almost 500 videos on various physio, exercise, and medical related topics. And if you still find value, please consider subscribing to my channel. It really allows my channel to grow and allows me to reach a wider audience. Until then, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.